morning. My name is Frances, and I'm a seventh grade student at St. Michael's and Student Council Commissioner of Liturgy and Worship. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today's saint is St. Jerome Emiliani. An orphan in the early 1500s, at the age of 15, St. Jerome Emiliani ran away from home and ran into some trouble. He ended up in prison where he had time to think. After conversion, St. Jerome studied for the priesthood and after his ordination, he worked for abandoned children. He founded the Clerks Regular of Somasca to continue that work and to care for the sick. St. Jerome Emiliani, pray for us. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. For in the one spirit we were all baptized into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and we were all made to drink of one spirit. So whether you eat or drink, or whether you do, do everything, for the glory of God. Give no offense to Jews or Greeks or to the church of God. Just as I try to please everyone in everything I do, not seeking my own advantage, but that of many, the word of the Lord. Think about this silently in your heart. If all people are one in Christ, how should we treat people, especially those who are different from us? Please join me in the year of St. Joseph prayer. To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our afflictions and having implored the help of your most holy spouse. We confidently invoke your patronage also through the charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God and through the paternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus. We humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, ward off from us every contingent of error and corrupting influence. O oh, our most mighty protector, be kind to us and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield to each one of us by your constant protection so that, supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. For our protection, and especially for our military and police forces, let us now pray the prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell, Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, pray for us. St. Teresa of Calcutta, Pray for us, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. At this time, please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
Today's birthday is Jackson on South Campus. Happy birthday. On this day in history in 1994, Nelson Mandela becomes the first black president of South Africa. The quote of the day is by Walt Disney. The way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing. Have a tenacious Tuesday. This is Reagan, Go Crusaders.